I made a flow this morning. Um, I just wanted to show you. It's something I want to do for us when we ask for invoices to be paid to. But this is for um, invoices that we're requesting. This is I'm making this because of the sponsorships for the 2018 conference. So I'm in Microsoft Flow. Here's how my flow works. It says, um, basically, I, I've created a form for counting when anyone wants to um, at request an invoice from accounting. So we basically go to our form and we're going to fill it out. It's called the invoice request form and I'm going to add it to Teams and SharePoint. So the name of the company to be invoiced, um, I'm just going to say, I actually have one right now, but I'm just going to do um, Jackie's, Jackie, name of contact, Jackie, phone number, blah, 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 email, that's email of contact, you know, we're filling it out. Hi, I want to pay cash. This is what accounting says they need. Line items. I need this for 800. I need that for 800, 888, whatever. And this is me. I'm Jackie Wiener. And my email is jwiener at sinlawn.com. Okay, I'm going to hit submit. When I do this, my flow kicks off. So let's go back and look at the flow. All right, so here's the flow. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and, and it knows I've submitted the form. When a new response is submitted for the invoice request form, this I'm going to apply these steps. I'm going to get the details from the invoice request form and I'm going to send an email to accounting. Okay, right now it's me because I'm testing it. The email subject line, it's got the name of the company, the name of the contact, all that information I just put in, it's going to send that to accounting. Then it's also going to ask the accounting let us know when they have sent the invoice and when they have the invoice payment has been received. Okay, and it's going to give them a link where they can update update that information in SharePoint. Well, you may have said we haven't done anything in SharePoint yet. Well, we're about to. While this information is being generated and sent to accounting, it also is creating a line item in a list in SharePoint. So I've created a list in SharePoint in Sales and Marketing called um, called our info, invoice request form list, okay? And it has all those same information that just got filled out in the form is added to this list. But what is added to the list in SharePoint is this column four is the invoice sent and has payment been received, okay? So we come back here and it's gonna tell accounting, please update that column when it's sent and please update that column when it's received. So that's so that we know. We know our invoice is being handled by accounting, right? So this is that action of creating the item in SharePoint. So that's where it says, okay, go ahead and put from the form, put the name of the company in the title on SharePoint. From the form, put the name of the contact in SharePoint. That's all done, okay? By default, invoice sent is no. By default, payment received is no. Now I say do this until when? I want you this next step, I want you to do this until the invoice sent is equal to yes. So it's gonna check right here, delay three days, every three days. And it's gonna do these steps until the invoice sent is equal to yes. And what is it gonna do every three days? It's gonna check, okay? And if it is equal to yes, it's going to send, post a message on Microsoft Teams that says, hey, whoever requested it, name of requester, your invoice for this company, for this amount was sent to that person by accounting. You can check on it here, it'll take you to SharePoint. If in three days it checks and accounting has not marked it as sent, um, it'll say, hey, uh, dear accounting, it appears the either the invoice request for this has not been sent or that you haven't marked it as sent. So can you please look into this matter? And then it gives them a link to SharePoint to update it or just reminds them to send it. It's going to do it check every three days until it sees that it has been sent. So on the same thing, payment received, we give them more time here, delay 60 days. So at 60 days, it's going to see is payment received equal to yes. If it is not equal to yes, it's going to send an email to accounting saying, hey, accounting, our invoice request list shows that we have not received payment from this company. This is the contact person. Please either update that list to show that we received the payment or please contact that person. If in 60 days it shows that we did receive payment from the invoice, it's going to post to Teams and say, hey, whoever requested this in sales and marketing, the general channel, um, we have received payment from this company for uh, whatever you requested. And this is where I go in here and, and add that. Um, 
and everything's chill with them. We got it all so we can all have peace of mind and everybody can see uh, and be updated on that. So that is, um, I was gonna say update flow. That is what uh, that flow is for. I just built it right this morning. I'm going to go ahead and process the, I've got four or five sponsorship, um, sponsorship payments that we need to, invoices we need to get out and we will see how this process works. And I will stop recording my self-recordedness. Uh, where is it? Uh, 